guys, welcome. We're this is uh, first episode of a new series. This is Maquina, our little pointing machine. That's Spanish for machine, I think. So Maquina here is a new project that we're doing. Uh, this series is going to be similar to some of our series in in a lot of ways. It's going to be different than our series, the, some of our past series in a lot of ways. In that I'm really going to try to do my best to capture it as as truly candid as possible, meaning the actual cameras with multiple angles. There's going to be a lot of that. There's going to be some of that, I should say. But it's going to be mixed in with some really raw stuff where I'm holding GoPros and, and phones and especially these early episodes. Um, I really want to take you along on this journey with me um, training my first pointing dog. So I've got, we've done a lot of series with the Retrievers, um, Labradors, Goldens, we've got some series out there with Shepherd, Malinois mixes. We've got a lot of different types of breeds, but we've been real heavy on the Retriever. And with the pointing dog, and she's a project of mine, um, a personal dog of mine, um, I'm really excited to share with you uh, the, what I'm going to find out. Um, I've studied it. I've talked with some people. I've got friends that have them. Um, I've watched videos. I've read a lot of articles. Um, all sorts of, I'm writing an article about this process for Gun Dog Magazine. So I, I think this series is hopefully going to be beneficial to those that are training their, their own pointing dogs. Um, I don't know, the one thing, I, she's 15 weeks old now. We started filming this when she was about eight and a half weeks old. Um, one thing I think I have found out and is, has been reaffirmed is the fact that a dog's a dog. And I don't think we need to um, try to create real compartmentalized um, specific things regarding dogs based on breed. But I also recognize that she's different. Um, and some of the things that we're going to have to do are going to be different. And so I'm excited to share it with you. Welcome to this series. Uh, Makina, we're making the machine here. Um, and I'm excited to see how this goes. I think you'll, uh, you're in for a little treat, I think. So if you're finding value out of some of these series, if you're finding value out of uh, what we're doing in general, if you'd like and, and share and uh, follow our pages, um, it, you know, those are, those are great ways for us to help as many people as possible um, because we, that's, that's just, our mission is to try to help as many people as we can with their own training journeys with their own dogs. So please do that for me. If you'd hit the subscribe buttons and, and leave comments, leave um, feedback for us that's, that's helpful and it allows us to help more people. Now this first part of the video obviously is filmed with my phone, so I apologize for that, but it's literally the first couple days that we had her back and I wanted to document right away. So uh, this first situation is gonna show you a setup that I set up. It didn't work very well. You'll see it in a minute here. The part that I didn't like about it was the setup as far as the bed goes. So I'm trying to be soft and make this comfortable for her. It created a distraction and it allowed for an undesirable habit to form. And that's one thing that we cannot do. So. This bed, not going to be something I'm going to use for a training um, tool. Uh, this is a new bed that, we were, that we've were that we been kind of playing with a little bit with our older dogs for comfort. Now I switched over here. I go to our style of bed that we offer. Um, you're going to see there's a difference. It takes away from her ability to mess around, fool around. No. No. And now is when we're going to actually start learning. Uh, the idea is this dog doesn't understand what it's supposed to do yet and so she's experimenting and then she's testing and then when she jumps off it's all about timing. No. Good. That first correction she responded to, the second one she responded to verbally and it was a lesson for me to understand how to read her body language. She made the same move she was going to go to jump off. No. No. I was a little late there. No. It's, it's starting to learn how she, how she acts and me having to understand that and anticipate it. Here she's kind of almost thinking this is a game. The bed, the, the blanket on there is, my thought was she would settle into it quicker. She seemed to curl up in her kennel quicker with a little, with a, a bed or a blanket. So my idea was she would curl up and, and rest in it. Um, it was not, it didn't do what I wanted it to do. It got in the way. We ended up 
creating a bigger issue with it and going forward we didn't use it at all on the, on, on the bed for place training. You'll notice when she does do the right thing and sits down and kind of settles, I'm quick, just as quick to remind her she did something good with a real soft verbal good. I don't need to make it into a big deal. This is a nice change right here. I settle in and I sit down because of it. That gets her excited. So it's a distraction that I just gave her and now she's got to work through that. It kind of resets her and now she's going to fool around and likely try to make another run for it. No. All about timing with that verbal. I get up because I thought she was going to make a run for it and I wanted to be there. Didn't have to. Here's where the blanket gets in the way, creates another thing for her to mess around with. This is also another example of like how long a t puppy's attention span is. She's a little over eight weeks old. She's good for about 15 to 20 seconds. Nope, you do not do it. And then she's gonna make a change and want something new. It's a very short attention span. So we start over. Now she's ramping up. This is 100% her testing me. The last thing I want people to do is laugh at that and go, isn't that cute? She's completely just being a brat right now. So I'm not going to necessarily get on her real hard about it yet. Now she sees her reflection in the stove. Between the stove and the dishwasher, she sees her reflection a couple times here. She decides she wants to pick a fight with herself. There's a lot of people that would laugh at this and think this is cute and giggle about it. And all you're doing is feeding that dog's understanding of it being acceptable. It's not. Now, I'm not going to be a jerk to an eight-week-old puppy that's just settling into my house. Enough. That's enough. Enough. I'm going to correct it, but I'm going to correct it with where I'm experimenting as far as levels go. So that little shake of the neck, and that's enough. I want to see if that changes her. You're going to see I vary my, my pressure. A couple times when I picked her up after she jumped off the bed throughout this video, I picked her up, I scooped her up, and I set her on real gently. That's enough. There's one point in this video where you're going to see me grab her by the scruff of the neck and put her up on it. I'm firming up a little bit because I'm not getting the results I want. That's enough. No, 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 no. Here's another one. Oh, gently put you back up. No, 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 no. That's enough. No, no, no. no it really no, wasn't no. enough. No. A little firmer. She responds well to that. No, you don't think about it. There's a point where she just learned. Two times in a row she jumped off. The third time she goes up and I say, ah, no, you don't. And she settles in nicely. Again, multiple times throughout this video, you're going to see a tension span really clear. It's about 30 seconds. Good. No, you don't think about it. Enough. It's you. And I'm balancing her settling in and understanding what the rules are. And I have to be realistic with the amount of focus and attention she can give me. Here's where things start to spiral downhill. Enough. That's enough. She's barking at another dog that's laying on place, not far from her. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Here the blanket gets in the way again and acts as a prop for her to play with. Spins herself right out of control. There's where I give her a nice, firm, pick her up by the scruff of the neck, set her on her place, just like mom would do if mom had had enough of her fooling around. That's enough. And here I look at it and I go, you know what? We've ramped up to the point where we're getting nowhere soon. I don't like ending on a negative note, but I also think that as a first time for this, very first time, that was enough um, learning where we gain something and struggle where we, um, you know, we went downhill and uphill enough times there where I said, let's just put you away and let you think about things and we'll do it again. And so this is the very first time that we did it. 
And I think it was nice progress. We, we accomplished what we wanted to do and we build off of that.